So here's a new person, uh, Talrand. This is the deck we're going to be using now. So uh, I will show these off. And then we'll be uh, making our way to our first opponent in regular, in the regular campaign. I was about to say regular mode. And there you go. I guess I shot the last one just because uh, I kind of canceled it out early. If you need to see these cards in uh, better detail to read what they do, uh, just pause the video as they're uh, scrolling. And there you go. Uh, this last card, dude, this looks like it would be good, but did that cost so much mana? 10. It's like, we're never going to reach that. Uh, I guess that's it. Uh, let me get out of here. So now we're going to go to the uh, campaign. So uh, one thing I want to mention is that sometimes this happens where um, everything gets locked again. I'm not sure why that happened, but I will show off this beginning part just because it kind of looks cool with the dark effects. See, so you can't actually select anything. What happens when I click A? I've never actually uh, tested this. It doesn't make any noise, does it? Very strange. Okay, well anyways, I will go over here and select this guy and yeah I'll continue from here alright so this might look like something I can use I will keep it for now this shouldn't be that difficult since the right campaign is just kind of like a allowing us to test the waters here Slave Hand, uh, this is going to be a new card. Well, all these are new cards, right? Every single time, I'm going to have to explain. So basically, I get to pick one and add it to my hand and throw the other one into the, um, sorry, into the, um, back into the bottom of the deck. Mm -mm -mm, trying to think, what should I do? I should probably keep land, right? I think this deck is a lot better than a uh, Garuk, Garuk. <laughs> then that guy, that guy's deck, the pack instinct. I don't remember what this is called. I didn't even bother to check. I have it here somewhere. I'll check it out afterwards. So for this, I will summon the spike tail hatchling just so um, I can start canceling stuff if I need to. Because I can just sacrifice it and it cancels a um, a spell that's been cast. Unless he pays one mana. So this will just uh, keep him on edge for a bit. Right, here we go. I will summon this now. And I can attack. So I'll check what this deck is called. This thing is called Crosswinds. Never realized that. Shoot, my alarm was going off right there. Okay, just one mana. That's not a big deal. It's probably because he has that um, Talran's Invocation or whatever it's called. I feel like I have Mana Leak, so now I can block something. I'll just use this just to start um, attacking. And now I'll attack with my Drake. How much does this cost actually? Because I can draw a card. It costs 4 mana though. I can't actually block anything since I forgot about that. Mm-mm-mm, that's not good. This costs four, so I can't use it. I'll just use this. And you have to be careful when you cast this, because um, you can activate this effect to activate Hexproof, which you don't want. You just want to equip it first. So I'll just equip it to uh, this one to buff them up a little bit. And there you go, now I will not attack. Because now that Drake has a 3 plus 3. See, so I'm going to use this just to block it. Because I don't want him to activate that. And there you go, into the graveyard it goes.
Activate this. I could activate this guy. I'll activate him. Now I'll just tackle him. Hopefully he blocks it. There you go. So now I can attack uh, clearly next turn. I'll equip it to something. Actually, I'll wait. I can't actually um, until I see what I have. How much does this cost? Eight? Nine. It costs nine to kick it. Okay. So let's see. I'll equip this. Equip to you. I'll use the effect over here. Draw a card. And there we go. Now we'll just attack with everything except for the... Um, what's this chick called? Azure Mage. I mean, I, I like this deck a lot. Uh, the, the whole thing that it does, or what it's supposed to be doing, it's supposed to control the field and summon a bunch of tokens. So it's really good at what it does. I used to think this was one of the worst decks in the game, but it's actually not. Uh, that's when you first play this. Like, I, This is the first game that introduced me to Magic. Like, I never played Magic the Gathering until this, and I still don't. But I know the rules because of this game. Uh, this is eight. Yeah, so that's nine. Just draw one more. And now we'll just attack. And I guess I might as well just use this, right? Draw a card. But yeah, I mean, we'll see when we get to the um, to the further levels in the campaign. It's all about control. Oh shoot! The Goliath Sphinx. That thing has law attack. All right. So I guess I can use Rite of Replication to target that thing, just so I can get a bunch of Sphinxes on the field. And there you go. Uh, I can't do anything, so I'll just wait. And then next turn I should have won. I should win. <laughs> what was that? I was trying to like view it, but it wouldn't let me. I use it on my. Oh shoot! I'm after to block that, huh? Ooh, that sucks. All right, so now I can attack with everyone. Well, I guess I'll attack with everyone, and then yeah, just just that's it. I mean, we won't have to worry about damage. No point trying to make it look clean. Alright, cool. That was, um, yeah. That was an intro match. For sure, for sure. And now we get to start started uh, for the rest. That's pretty much going to be an indicator of what's going to happen for the other matches now. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to look at this. I guess I'll keep it. So now I just pick a card and same things and they matter. No strategies involved here, just keep summoning mana until something pops up in your hand.
wonder why he's not summoning anything. So when he does decide to finally attack, I'll just use Dehydration on him. Just so he remains tapped forever. Until it gets destroyed. I'm hoping he summons the Primal Crux in one more turn. I'll use Favorable Winds, or I could use this. I'll just use this. Okay, it doesn't actually target anything. Dude, what, what am I doing? I could've used this. Oh, well, well, no, I couldn't because I'm actually gonna save it for... Never mind. Never mind. I can't target it anyways with this because it has hex proof on it. Cool, there you go. So now I can actually use... The, so this just lets me summon 2 plus 2 um, drag tokens. That's all it does. I don't know what all this text is down here. Oh, it just flavor text. Okay. And I'm hoping he does not attack with the boar, so I can use favorable winds next turn. And then when I finally have enough, I can use this blade in theory to steal something on his side of the field. Okay, cool. For some reason, he's not attacking, so that's fine. Next turn, both those will be blocked. Since I have three and three. So now I can use cancel if I want. I'm gonna save it for when something comes out. Which should be soon. So let's see what he summons. Not that. Stomp Howler, what's he gonna do? I guess might as well stop him because he's gonna try to destroy the favorable winds. So he just negates the summon. Damn, I'm surprised he's still attacked. Alright, well that thing's dying. I will use Tidings just to draw more cards. And there we go, I have two manas, drop this down. I'll just attack with that one, since I don't want the uh, mage to die. I don't want the mage to block, so I don't want the pig to hurt me. And he has nothing in his hand, so as long as he doesn't draw anything good, he should be down. Down for the count. Yeah, see, he doesn't have anything. All he has is a bunch of pigs. I guess I'll use Panoptic Mirror. I attacked with the wrong monster. Alright. Well, you might as well just sacrifice the Drake then. At least do something with it. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start using, uh... I guess I could give Blade and Thievery to it, right? 
7. I might as well imprint a cost of 7 and put Blade and Thievery on it. I've never done that. So now every turn I'll be able to steal a monster from him. Does this count as being exiled? Let me see. I think I Yeah, okay. Can't cast anything. I wonder what happens if I use it. Oh, I can steal anything. Okay. Uh, what's this cost? Let's see, green. I might as well steal land. There you go, and I got one extra land with me. Yeah, see, it, it does function, so I can, I can use it. I'll just draw more. And I'll draw more. And there you go, we pretty much won. I didn't realize it was a permanent. I thought it was just a creature. It's crazy. Let me see it one more time. Okay, I don't think he's gonna summon anything then. He's like, nope, he's just gonna steal it. I'm just curious to see what, what I would have. It only gives me this option to cycle mana because I have uh, two different kinds of mana. Because we, uh, you won't usually see that. Attack with a Kraken, might as well. And there you go, that was a really, really easy deck. It should not give us any difficulty now with any of them, other than maybe Chandra. Okay, so uh, I actually did not include myself speaking into this part, but basically I want to show off the uh, the Shadow Talran since he's not selectable. Since we wouldn't usually see that since everyone's always, you know, he's always selectable in the beginning of the campaign, basically. And then I want to show off uh, Lilian and that's it. So now we're back at the true final boss of the game. Man, this music's really loud. Let me put this down. I can't even hear anything. Okay, so let's see. Magic, Kraken, or man, I mean. Well, hi, little burp. You want to say hello again? Hi, little burp. Let me grab your tail, little burp. There you go. Hi, little burpy. So I'm hoping to save this mana leak uh, until he summons something I don't want to deal with. But I need at least two mana. You just have to be aware of this. I guess that counts, get rid of it. Oh man. Because either I could have drawn one more card, or I can just keep drawing cards as long as I have four mana. Because I'm not going to use this time warp uh, right now in the beginning. I'm probably going to use it later when I have no other choice. Because last time I did, it saved my life. I was able to get double cast and I cast it twice. Just summon our drakes now. There we go. Unfortunately, we cannot break through that, um, whatever this guy's called, because he has first strike. 
I don't remember what Andy's called. Squadron Hawk. So now we have our two birds on there. He's got one more somewhere. Okay, there goes Oblivion Ring. Who's gonna get banished? Oh, that's a that's a different tactic. I thought I was gonna go for the token, but I guess not. I'm not using time warp. I could attack. I'm just gonna attack with one. If he wants to uh, waste both those birds, that's fine with me. There we go. Got thin out his ranks just because uh, if he summons a Crusader or that uh, Storm Geist, then he's gonna have a uh, two less attack now. Oh man, that card! The Paladin's back. Who's gonna be pacified? The token probably. Yep. Unfortunately, that's no good. I anyway, mean, what, what would be the point if I use Blame Thievery on the Oblivion Ring? I would just snatch it, but I still can't uh, use my uh, mage that's locked behind it. Oh man, that's a perfect target for this. Hmm. I could attempt to get my card back, but he'll just lock something else with it. I'll just wait. I will block this. I will block... Who costs more? Three, three, and two. Okay. I'll leave it for now. He might something summon something else like a fiend hunter. There we go, blame thievery, finally. Can I steal my card back? Nope. Alright. Let's just use this and grab that crusader. Hmm, pacifism on what? Okay, cool. Got a commission. Ooh, bribery. This is a card that we haven't seen yet. So grab something from that target's library. Okay, so I just get to pick a monster from their uh, from their deck. Let's see. Let's see. What does he have that I want? Probably this one. Oh, this one actually. It's either this, the Sturmgeist, right? Or Geist Honored Monk. Or Captain of the uh, Watch. One of these two. Summoner's Control. I'm gonna get this one. Um, I could possibly use this on pacifism next turn just to get a bunch of uh, attack through. How much does this cost? Five. That's only five. Dang, dude! I can get it. I can get everything through right now. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to use disperse on this pacifism. Then I'm going to use Time Warp on myself. Okay, now I'm going to attack with everyone. Okay, so now let's attack with everyone. There 
Except for the watch, actually. I'll get rid of that one. <coughs> That's actually not a good idea. Oh, shoot. Yeah, I didn't realize that. Oh, well. Well, at least mm, things aren't going that bad, so it's fine. It's not a big deal. Both of them died, dude. That was not a great idea. Right of replication. Oh, I could have used it. I'm gonna save it. I need a land first before I do that. I should have just kept everything, dude. Just attacked with the um with this one. Oh, but at least he can't block himself now next turn. I mean, this is hindsight, really. I didn't realize I was going to get this. So now I have a couple choices. Either I can replicate the Captain of the Watch, or I can replicate the uh, Crusader. Oh, there we go. What am I going to replicate? Of course, the uh, no not up there. The Captain of the Watch. Going to get a billion of these out, or at least five. Look at that. Boom. Alright, now let's go, guys. You two attack. And next turn, we should be good. Oh man, this sucks having to wait for the bot. Just everyone attack. Final boss defeated. Alright, now the dark deck. Uh, no. Possibly. Hello, Bert. You want to say hello again? Hello, Burpee. Do you want some pets? Alright, so now I'm not going to summon anything at all, uh, just because I want to see, I want to see her use a card to kill this fog bank, and I'll just return it back to my hand. There we go. I will repulse this back to my hand. Hi, little burp. You like playing with the box down there, little burp? Only one at a time, so I can still use Disperse just to keep my monsters alive and eventually cancel. Check me out, Looper. 
Oh, shoot, Blight. Uh, yeah, I don't want that here. Staying alive. Staying alive. Oh, technically, just keep using this guy. Summon him. Right before he dies, you disperse. Get the other disperse and just rinse and repeat. Hmm, what's this? Oh, shoot, no, no, no. I don't want that to die. Not today. So, uh, I did a good job of emptying out her hand. Since she only has one card left, we'll see what that one card is. Oh man, what am I gonna do? I can use cancel on something. I just have to play the safe. Hi, little bird. Oh, hi, little bird. Uh, yeah, I'm not canceling that. Wait, oh, wait a minute, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, I thought it was gonna be like Blight where I can't, um, I can't block with it, but it's fine, yeah, it's not a big deal. Gonna block the guy with the three. I'll just use this, dude. Continue and continue. And there we go. Drop this down. Drop this guy. And there we go. You know what I'm getting? Another time warp. Either I can do Time Warp or this. I don't really need to use Time Warp. I can just use this and draw a card, and it's a lot cheaper. Right? Next round, draw one and draw one. Yeah, it's the same thing, except this is cheaper. Except I'll have a full uh, use of mana. I'll just use this. Yeah, so we basically have infinite cards. Or I can have infinite draws, or at least two draws per turn is what I mean to say. So you're ending your turn. That's my cue to use this. I'll summon this again. And get this one again. This is what we have to do. Valid strategies. <laughs> okay, same thing. She's gonna summon that. Oh wait, wait, I can cancel it. Oh, do I really wanna cancel it? Yeah, I'll cancel it. Hate it, so I don't want it to be summoned. Okay. Gonna wait my turn. Even though I could have used it. Here we're going to summon this and then. Not gonna summon that. Not today. 
Okay. At least I have tokens on the field now, so I can actually block and, and destroy things. Is that random? Okay, good, it's not random. Okay, whew. My strategy was about to fall apart there. Gotta play it safe. I need at least one card in my hand just for that type of stuff with uh with that Spectre card. Oh, I, th I thought she's gonna rest in it for my for my deck, but I get I don't know what I have in there. I'm not gonna check so. Oh shoot, I have to use this. Okay. What is, what is this technically called now? A uh, Spectre Zombie? So that's five and five. Okay, cool. I'll use that. Drop that and use this. And next turn I can use this and start uh, getting rid of the, get uh, getting rid of things things on the field. I'm not gonna attack. I can just toss this just for fuel. I'm not sure why she's attacking. There we go. <clears throat> we will start thinning out the field now. Oh man, okay. Gonna block those fours right here and get rid of this one. Oh shoot, that was the plan, huh? Okay, I'll use this on this thing just to stop it from attacking, or actually, no. I guess maybe yes, I should just stop from attacking. And now I'll use this to return my guy. Target a creature, target this one. Can't use mana leak right now, unfortunately. I'll summon this and I'll have another one for Mana Leak. Okay, cool. Because I'm trying to target that bat to get out of here. But the zombie's dehydrated over there.
There we go. So we're thinning out the field. Oh, who's going to get executed? Okay. I thought the plan was going to be over now, but it fortunately targeted the fog bank. Can't really use right of replication here. No, I'm gonna keep it, yeah. I'm gonna use this just to do damage. Or nah, I won't. Nope, I will not do that. Just give me a reason so I can use mana leak. attack this turn or next turn I mean how much does it cost to return just one it's weird okay I just want to see if she has anything in her hand, so I'll attack with this. Dang, that took a while, dude. Okay, so uh, there's Shadow Jace over there, Now I'll just start the match. Okay, here's the Goblin deck, again. I need one more, one more land, so I can start to use these two. Kind of sucks I have these in my hand, super early, but there you go, at least now I can use these two. I'm hoping when he spams a bunch of stuff on the field I'm just going to use this, just so I can draw a bunch of cards. At least three, you know. I'm like, he might cycle, but then I'm like, no, nah, he can't. This, <laughs> I'll use that. Uh, the Sphinx Bone, I can't use it this early. But so now it's at the bottom of my deck. I don't think I have stuff that can shuffle my deck other than that Sphinx. So for now, it's uh, stuck at the bottom. It will probably remain there for the rest of the game. I might have to use this just so I can get a couple more lands, dude. Yeah, here's what I'm gonna do. He's gonna attack with two of them. 
so I'll just return one to his hand just so just to waste his time. So that's two. Yeah, this one go back in his hand. I kind of want him to attack me though. I'll just use him. Now that I think about it, he might have attacked me. He might have, um, well, he would have attacked me anyways. Because he's probably thinking I'm not going to block with these drakes. A lot of those pikers. Yeah, so you would have packed anyways. I just I should just let it go, but no. All right, there. I'm gonna kill the rough rider and the piker. Okay, let's grab something now. What should I grab from his deck, <laughs> dude? Uh. What does he have in there that I can actually use? I don't want to just get the oh click slither. I don't want to grab reckless one just because I can grab him or this guy. I'll grab him. It's always nice to summon. And there you go, I have a defense now. Nothing will get through. Dude, I can replicate these. What the heck? Should I do it? Heck yeah, I'm gonna replicate these. Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. Right now I have five cards in my hand. I can always discard two of them. So how many do I want? So I'm assuming I'm going to have three. So I want to draw at least four cards. And then I'm going to use one more just because I'm going to use that um, discard. Well, I guess I can't really discard two then. Shoot. Well, yeah, there you go. Well, I guess might as well. I'm, I'm going to discard these rings anyways. I'm not going to use them. So let's see. One, two, three, four. Assuming I only have three, they'll bump it to seven and eight. Just in case I get a land. And I will be able to use something else. So yeah, there you go. Okay, let's drop this. Let's drop that. What should I discard here, dude? Probably this one. Summon her. Drop these rings. Power her up. Only with one, just in case.
just in case he tries anything funny. Wait, I was trying to equip it right now, but you can't, I don't think. Right, here we go, I equip this one to that. Okay. <clears throat> Back in control of the game. Oh, would you look at that panoptic mirror? Okay. I can use it with a right of replication so I can replicate something every turn. So hopefully uh, this is the end of it. It's just uh, waiting for him to finally lose and run out of life points. Okay, let's see, dropping that. How much is this? Four. I mean, I can't attack with this. Oh shoot! I was like, I was waiting for his HP to go down. I was like, I didn't realize that he actually, uh, yeah, the turn already ended, combat ended. I feel like the AI is ignoring Fogbank for some reason. Like, they just don't care. Maybe they're hoping I forget. Maybe that's why. Not time to replicate something. Five creatures? <laughs> yeah. Boom. So close, one HP. Rage reflection. So he has double double strike. Come on, bot. End the turn. Please end the turn. There you go. Might as well just replicate him. Doesn't hurt. Just because I'm curious what I have in my graveyard.
I'm legit just curious what I have. That's the only reason why I'm using this. It's been going on with the past few Jace games, but uh, they've been going pretty quickly for some reason. Like five minutes and six minutes, and uh, they're not usually that quick. They're just very strange things are going on. Like he's getting the exact cards he needs. Counterspell for invocation. What do I have in my hand? Do I can't even see. Let's see. Oh, it's a fog bank, and okay, yeah. Indication it is. Tell Rand card, um, I don't use it just because it's kind of expensive to use. I mean, I could get rid of one of these two to put them in my deck, but I just don't use them. Because also he's a monster, so he has to like survive. So he's not really useful to summon tokens. Oh, when uh, when I'm low on monsters, because uh, if you're low on monsters, uh, he's gonna die too. Like getting randomly murdered or anything that could happen with the black deck. Okay, cool. I have two invocations. Now I get this, and then I can use that if I want. Let the games begin. So I have one invocation, another invocation, and then I could use Time Warp after that. I mean, it depends. If I don't get, if I don't have any mana uh, after this, I'll I'll use this. Like after I'm done summoning everything. What's he cloning? Oh, okay. this actually it's a change of plans I'll attack with both of those just to see what he does I just got rid of that clone dude he, he could have cloned something worse but uh I guess you want to use it on the Drake I can dehydrate that guy now I think about it I'm gonna dehydrate him just because he's annoying Like, see, look, that's what I'm saying. Heaps Gangles discard seven cards. Alright, let's see, what am I gonna do? I will dehydrate him. Oh, shoot, I could have used that. I could have used it. I could have used favorable wins. Alright. Would have done one extra damage. Wow, there goes a uh, bribery. He doesn't have anything in his hand, awesomely enough. Okay, what's he gonna get? Ooh, man, he get a bunch of stuff. Uh, I feel like a lot was discarded there. I'll just return this back to my hand, actually. So I don't want him having access to that. sleep. That's okay. I have time warp to prevent that. 
Oh, he has no cards in his hand now. Perfect time for Time Warp. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna drop this, use Time Warp on myself. And then I'm gonna drop this since I don't really need to use this anymore. And I'll just wait. Okay, I'll use this. There we go. Drop that. I could use this now just to get rid of that land since I'm not going to use it. I have nothing better to do anyways. Okay, yeah, I get rid of the land. Now let's attack. 15 damage. Oh, did we win? What the heck? We won. Cool. Well, that's what I'm saying. The last two matches were just hilarious, so they I might as well, right? Take a victory when you can. This one's also really short. Five minutes. I'm saying like it doesn't make sense, right? Alright, so here's a Johnny now. And uh, yeah, that's it. Moving on to the next match. Okay, so now here's Nephrox. Uh, hopefully we don't have any difficulty with him. Uh, he's been pretty easy with these uh, control decks. Just trying to think we want to keep this hand. I don't think I do because these two are pretty much dead weights. Sorry, I mean, this one's definitely dead weight, but this, uh, it's kind of cheap. I'll keep it. Hopefully it didn't summon anything. Oh man, okay, we're, we're off to a bad start. I mean, he usually summons it anyways, I just don't have anything to defend myself with. And I'm not going to sacrifice this mage. Mmm, I guess two of them. Oh man. Ooh, I forget. This one's really slow, dude. A really slow match right here. Uh, no. This one. I'm hoping he summons an angel of some sort so I can replicate it. Hopefully that uh, sublime one that adds life link to your attacks. Okay, well here you go. I can finally draw a card. Oh wait, he what? Wait a minute, what? Wait, I could have been attacking. What am I doing? What the heck? All right, Dude, I'm getting confused. Like he only, he only has one mana. What the heck? And I wasn't doing anything. Okay, well, anyways, I will return this back to his hand. Just to delay the game by a bit. How many turns have passed? I think it was only, it's only been one turn, right? I haven't been like asleep that long. It's only been one turn. Cause I can attack. I don't know what the guy was thinking. All right. I could replicate my own card. But I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna attack with it. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Get rid of that. What is that thing called anyways? I always forget. Doomblade. It's murder and Doomblade. Cost two, okay. Except I didn't realize that Doomblade only affects non-black creatures. I will use it.
What will I discard? Probably a land. Yeah, probably land. Now that I have Fog Bank, uh, he's, he can't do any damage now, which is nice. So he's gonna attack with multiple monsters. But at least his AI understands to do that. Oh man, what does this thing have? It has haste and ex okay, yeah. What's this thing called? Dust Metal Prowler. Uh, I like the artwork on that, like the buildings in the back. Alright, I'm almost dead. One more hit. Like that, and I have uh, negative HP. Just use this. I could replicate something, but nope. Replicate the fog bank. Oh, wait. Oh my gosh. I keep forgetting. I could have attacked, dude. Oh well. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, that thing. What is this? No. No, no, no. That thing's being mana leaked. That card will cause way too much damage. Wow, I could have stolen it. What is what is this thing? Can I steal this? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll have an exalted card, dude. Hell yeah. There we go. I have Cathedral of War now. Dude, I'm going to attack. I'm exalted now. There you go, get rid of that thing. Don't like looking at it. Two birds. One more to land, and I can actually do what I need to do. Get another Blade and Thievery. No, I'm going to draw cards is what I'm going to do. I could use it right now. I'll use it, just so I have seven cards the next turn. Or I'll have eight, really, at the beginning of my turn. There we go. And then I'll use Rite of Replication, probably on that uh, Archmage, or Archmage, or Archeomancer, <laughs> what am I talking about? <clears throat> I guess I could use it on the birds, too. I'll probably use it on the birds, dude, just to get myself exalted. And just pierce right through everything. Oh man, yeah, I'm definitely using on the birds now. Look at this, I have favorable wins. So we'll be using this, we're going to kick it, no, we're going to use it on the birds. Now we got some beasts on the battlefield, we'll drop this, and then there we go. I could return my Archeomancer back to the hand with the Disperse. Dude, I'm going to attack, this is so legit. See, that's what I'm saying, this is why the Talran deck is kind of fun to play with, because you can, uh, Use your opponent, use your opponent's um, deck specialties against them. It's kind of fun. Oh, he's gonna just regenerate. Oh, he has nothing in his hand. Okay. Well, there you go. I have a uh, no. Uh, I think my chances are winning this are pretty good. He's only got one card, and I have a lot. I have a lot of control over everything right now. Gonna block. Doing what? Doing okay, why well, you need to do a call? Mm -hmm. Alright, it's good. So it's gonna be over soon because he has nothing in his hand. This is hilarious. Alright, cool. 
I can summon this. I'll just use it, dude. And then I'll use this to power up the creatures. Use this on myself, obviously, to return back to my hand. Target that bird, get rid of it. And there we go. Now I can attack with my bird. Ooh, oh yeah. And there we go, six damage. All right, so two more turns and he should be dead. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to get the other, um, should I get Blaine Thievery? Nah. Oh man, right of replication. Well, no, I don't really need that. I can use this just to draw more cards. I'll use this. Thing. Creature, target this thing. Oh yeah, here we go. Target a creature, target that thing. And there we go. I'll get this. There you go, one more turn and this guy's uh, done with. So I will use uh, this to return it. No, that's dumb. I'm not doing that. I'll just use this again. And just put this in my hand just in case I need it. And I will attack now. So let me drop this. And there you go. Turn ended and I will attack him and then I win the game. Good old Neferox. Very consistent. No curveballs or anything. So now here's the uh, best character in the game. I'm not keeping that. Gotta thin out my massive deck. I'll use this. It won't help if you get a if he gets a Johnny's Pride mate really early, but uh, it'll stop everything else. Except for his flyers. I can block. It's my specialty is blocking. I'm gonna equip it to him just because I have one mana, I can't use it, so might as well. I don't think he has trample, so I don't think he does. Thank you. 
That was a little laggy right there. So now I'll just equip this to the mage. And there you go. That was the intended target. The good thing is uh, both of those cards are going to have zero attack after this turn. Other than the uh, Kimba Skyguard. Doesn't matter if I block. Oh man, they have 29. 29, 29. And there you go. Boom. Now, no one has any attack other than the Skyguard. But I'm not going to attack because I can't do anything. That's... Okay, I thought she was actually going to destroy the... Um... Okay, uh, maybe that's why. Oh man, here it comes. Here comes the pain. Next turn, I can, I can actually block um, everything else, but I'm going to take two damage, though. So. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Hey, would you look at that? I can return something to the hand. There you go. Whew, okay. Pride Mate isn't so scary, uh, knowing that I can repulse it. I'm gonna take the damage, dude. Okay, so this costs three, and this is two. Uh, let me pause this just so I don't get confused, and let's use three, and use this. Dude, I can't even imagine using this, like playing this game now with the really bad controller that had upwards of drift. Because I would be selecting the mana, and it would just like make it go up by one randomly. And I would have to time it right, like forget the that, dude. I'm not going to sacrifice my mage. Okay, we're going to use this, and what we're going to do is return this thing back to the hand just to get rid of it, that equip spell it has. Okay, now I'm going to drop this other one. And I'm going to hold on to this disperse just in case. I might as well just draw a card, right? Oh shoot, I could have used it. I will use it right now. We're both out of cards, but I have slight, slight advantage. Alright, Kemba, you're gonna go- oh, not Kemba, oh, Kemba! The Pride Mate's gonna go back into the hand. Alright, here you go, return the Pride Mate. gonna hold on to this oh man I could have used this I'm gonna attack with this here we go all right so who's gonna return to the hand this one And both you die. Mm. 
I'm gonna return him back to the hand and, ca and then cancel him. Well, I don't really need to do that, do I? Yeah, I don't need to because I can do whatever I want right now. The Drake. After one more, I'm going to switch her out. Or I'm going to switch that ring to the Archaeomancer. Probably not. No, I won't. Rings Evo, Evo Sile. I won't do that. It looks like it's merging to his skin. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. Because I'm going to want to bring the Archaeomancer back to my hand, so it's not really a good idea. I could cancel it. Not gonna, it's not worth it. Might as well just cancel that because it's annoying. I don't like it. And I can return my own card back to its hand. Might as well give it to him, right? I guess can't do it this turn, I'll do it next turn. It's just weird because I'm drawing a lot of cards, but I'm not getting anything that can actually help other than my one mage I have on the field. Or two mages. switch out the ring a oh, wall. And I have one mana, so I can switch that uh, ring, pass it around. Oh, 
pushing. Very strange. Now I have two repulses and two archaeomancers. Alright, so I'm just gonna attack and I'll start dropping everything. bribery to get a card away from him. If you use this onto your panoptic mirror, you're gonna win. Like, you basically get infinite turns. I'm not gonna do it though. Same thing if you use this, you can just throw all your cards out on the field and then, oh, to reset, reset every turn. Let's go. Just attack. Gotta save the few minutes. Here's Chandra here. All blacked out. And uh, that's it. I don't think we can show off Nicole loss. Now the other green deck. That looks decent. Put this at the bottom of the graveyard. Yeah, I will. Well, bottom of my deck, of my library. Try to save up 5 mana, so I can use this. We'll see what, what comes out. I'll just dehydrate it. Yeah, nothing came out, okay. Hmm, that's not so good for it. You know why? Because now it just got dehydrated. And there you go. Now she basically has only two forests because that thing is permanently tapped unless she can get rid of it. This annoying thing. No mana, come on. So one more mana. Dude, come on, really? No mana. Alright. Throw it back in the hand. Thank you. 
it's not gonna do anything because it's just gonna summon it. Oh, why do you think I screwed up? I could use Mana Leak on it. Oh well. Oh well, oh well. something in my hand at least. And I have to block the elf. turns. I'm gonna get this in my hand so I can start drawing more. And I'll use Mana Leak or a Twin Cast when able. That thing. It's gonna get Mana Leaked. So this thing costs three. There we go. Then I'll drop this and then equip it onto my thing. I'm gonna attack just so it's safe. Because I'm gonna return that taunting ult back to the hand. Oh man, she has a bunch of stuff in her hand and now she's gonna be able to summon stuff now. There we go, cool. I can start picking stuff off. Uh, I'm not sure why I attacked there. I forgot I'm on defense. Oh well. Gotta play aggressively. So let's see how this thing looks like. I'm just curious. I always think it has like a bow and arrow. I'm like, anyways. Okay, I'm gonna use this to return what to the hand? This thing. Target a creature is going to be this one. And I guess I can also cast Twins Cast again. Uh, not sure on what exactly. Yeah, not yet, dude. <laughs> it's getting way ahead of ourselves.
two taunting elves. What the heck? I'm gonna get rid of both of those right now. Let's overturn that. Target a creature. And I'll use this. Target another creature, I'll destroy this one. Actually, no, I won't. I'll destroy this thing. Actually, no, I won't. I'll, yeah, I'll destroy this thing. There you go. Cool. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, dude. I forgot. Oh, well, that sucks. Alright, well, I'm gonna return to the hand. Oh, man, that sucks. I forgot about the chain. Get rid of that thing. Some of this thing. Okay, well, I guess she's going to get her land back. Spider, okay. Oh, yeah, that's not good. I will return that to my hand. Does this count as four or five, dude? Oh, no, I'll just target her. It's five already, okay. Can't really use this because all my monsters are on the ground. mana. Nope. Uh, yeah, I'm not used to that. There we go. Can't counter that thing. Kill that thing. What am I doing? Target the player. <laughs> it's like, what am I doing? Dude, she's already dead. Just kill her. Alright, so here's Chandra. Uh, I don't think it should be too difficult. I think this deck actually counters her, but we'll find out. The Kraken, and I have the Ring of Evo's Isle. Down there. And there you go. Now I have a really buff crack in a couple turns.
Wait, what did it say? Just picking them all. Okay. And there we go. Now it's hexproof. As long as I have two mana, which I should. I mean, realistically, as long as it has like I don't know, five, it won't die in one hit. It can still die in one turn, but it's not in one hit. We'll get stapping and we'll. <laughs> Okay, uh, let's see. One more turn I can use Bribery. Well, there you go. She's probably going to attack then. Okay, I guess she doesn't want to attack. Alright, let's see what we can get from the deck. What does she have? in that library. Hmm. I guess this guy. Firebird. This thing. Prodigal Pyromancer. It's either gonna be Prodigal Pyromancer or Hostility, dude. I'm gonna get Hostility. Yeah, I'm gonna use hostility, dude. And I'm just gonna attack with both, you know. Come on, kill the Kraken. Oh, okay, no magical hostility. Okay, well I guess that's good. I mean I got rid of both of them. Except hostility is now in the deck. I've delayed uh, getting hit by a monster. Oh, by only one turn. Did this only cost one? Yeah, it cost two. Okay, so now I can't attack because I don't want to um, risk it dying. So I'm just gonna sit there in defense mode. Well, I guess I could have attacked, right? I could have attacked it. Dude, come on. Here it goes again. I could have attacked it because I would have just blocked with a spike tail hatchling. I'm still going to block with it. Here we go. I just need one land. Come on. And there you go. Cool. So now I'll just attack it. What's going on? Oh, okay. Use a Sphinx Bone. And I'm going to attack. I'm hoping to steal something that she summons. I don't want to steal that ruby medallion, there's no point. A dog? Shoot, shoot, shoot. What can I do right now? I can steal the bird.
That's nine attack. That's only if she attacks with everything. Oh man, that's kind of scary. I'll attack anyways, I'll block. Or I hope it blocks. Nope, she's gonna take the hit. She only has two HP. All right, so at least she can't use those um those cards that waste her HP. Oh, what's she doing? What's she doing? Okay, cool. Let's see what she does. She might she might win. Depends on what she has in her hand. Okay, there's that. She's not gonna attack. Okay. Attack the player, just finish her off. <laughs> there you go. Whew. All right, cool. 